Oh, you bastard. No, this isn't just what I say to you and when I see him every morning, but in fact the exact words that should drop from your lovely lips when a beautiful, brilliant movie betrayal is enacted successfully. In fact, there's nothing better than a good old bit of backstabbing in cinema, and characters can go down in history as pure grade aid assholes with their evil actions, if done properly, of course. So today we're going to separate the wheat from the chaff and explore these excellent moments which turn love to hate in an instant. These aren't any any mere con jobs, but times when you were left spitting poison and popcorn everywhere. Kind of like what I imagine you all do when one of my peers puts a video up. I kid, they're all lovely, and I totally won't betray any of them down the line. Right? Anyway, I'm Trustworthy Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most shocking betrayals in movie history. Number 10. Ash. Alien. Okay, so technically, Ash was an android, so in reality, it's more of a product of an evil mind rather than being one itself. Still, it did take things possibly a bit too far when deciding to off the crew for the sake of allowing this alien menace to continue with its face fornication ways. It's still a powerful betrayal, though. In fact, it's twofold, as first, Ash breaks quarantine procedures by allowing an infection back onto the ship, and secondly, it tries to kill Ripley by making her digest what amounts to be a a crossword puzzle. That initial act of treachery led to the deaths of everybody aboard the Nostromo, bar Ripley and a cat of course. What makes Ash's behaviour more shocking though is that up until these points it was so likeable and polite, and for the most part rational and seemingly compassionate. It's only on a second viewing though that we begin to see Ash for what it really is, a cold, calculating machine who is merely carrying out company orders. Kind of like Ash he works here when you think about it. Number 9. FELTs 300 In this go, Emperor's children. Enter Ephialtes, the son of a Spartan exile who just wishes to do right by his family and fight alongside his king. Unfortunately, and to Ephialtes' dismay, Leonidas can only offer him the duties of clearing corpses from the battlefield and fetching water for his men. Therefore, his subsequent betrayal of the Spartans, which ultimately leads to their downfall, is shocking, horrible, and at the same time strangely justified, albeit only through anger. It's a pivotal moment in the film, and it's horrible to witness. Number 8. Major Grant, Die Hard 2 Once again, our tank top clad hero John McClane finds himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Except now, instead of being trapped in a skyscraper with German terrorists, he's in an airport with German terrorists. As if things weren't bad enough though, John learns that his wife is trapped on one of those planes that's circling in the sky and is likely to run out of fuel soon. It's handy then that Major Grant and his special forces cahoots are en route to sort out this whole terrorism palaver out. Ah, that is very nice actually. And the partnership between Grant and McLean is actually really fun, like a kind of buddy cop dynamic. However, when McLean isn't present, we see Major Grant and his men joking around with a new recruit before suddenly slitting his throat, revealing that the Major and his loyal crew are in fact aligned with the terrorists. Oh dear. It's a moment that changes the entire dynamic and makes every moment of jovial banter between the pair now become laced with betrayal. Number 7. Dr. Elsa Schneider – Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade after the shrill and quite annoying Willy from the second Indiana Jones film, fans were probably over the moon when Elsa Schneider appeared on the scene. She was everything his other love interest wasn't. Confident, adventurous, a Nazi. Yeah, the last bit, not so much of a turn on really, but that's what made her turn in general all the more surprising. Schneider and Indy formed an immediate bond, which of course develops into a relationship, and the viewer is led to believe that she is destined to be the film's enthusiastic heroine. Yet, during a tense hostage scene, Schneider reveals her true colours and joins the enemy. However, the real sting in this story is the fact that not only was Schneider sleeping with Indy, but she was also sleeping with his father. Ooh, not a pleasant image, that. However, in the end, she attempts to make up for her past mistakes, yet dies for her efforts. Number 6. Joe Pistone, Donny Brasco This is quite the underrated gangster movie for how little people are talking about it, and how good Depp is as this FBI agent turned mobster. One of the most appealing things about this flick is the relationship that forms between Donny and Lefty. It's an uneasy friendship that grows alongside the audience's worries that things are all going to go very wrong 
very, very soon. Lefty continually comments on how he'd die for Donnie, and Donnie even comes to see the negatives of his former life, even to the point where you truly feel that he won't betray his newfound family, which is what makes the final outcome so absolutely crushing. Number 5. Fredo Corleone – The Godfather Part 2 I want some respect. Those lines are haunting when watching The Godfather Part 2, as they come from the second son of the Don Fredo and do not come from a place of love or understanding, but from a place of raw anger. It's these feelings of inadequacy that drive Fredo to go against the family by trying to arrange a deal with an agent of a rival mobster, Hyman Roth, the details of which are scarcely mentioned in the film, actually, now I think about it. However, all we need to know is that as a result of this betrayal, Roth's men are able to make an assassination attempt on Michael's life at his family home. While Fredo was acting out of jealousy and ignorance, the severity of his treachery is such that Michael eventually decides that he should be assassinated. Now that is harsh, yet it's presented as the ultimate end of the ultimate betrayal. Number 4. Benny – Total Recall Hey man, I got five kids to feed! Oh. Benny, I genuinely did not see this coming the first time that I watched the action Arnie vehicle that was Total Recall, and I remember how much I hated you for your betrayal. The banter shared between Benny and big man Arnie when he touches down on Mars is brilliant, as he provides a dangerous tour of the colony alongside some much more humorous lines about rebellions and mutants. Unfortunately, Benny turns out to be working for the cruel and villainous Cohagen, turning his affability into OFU oh, ability. Later in the film, a fight ensues as Benny attempts to crush Arnie with a large tunneling vehicle, as, as you do, but the Austrian Oak is able to sever the vehicle's fuel line with the large drill before turning the drill on Benny, shouting, Screw you! as he skewers his traitorous associate. Number 3. Lando Calrissian – Star Wars Episode 5 – The Empire Strikes Back Pretty much the Star Wars version of Judas from that book that people went so mental for back in the day, Lando is pretty much synonymous with betrayal thanks to his actions in The Empire Strikes Back. As our heroes reach Cloud City in search of some refuge, all they find is a Darth Vader dinner date. It's a horrible betrayal because up until this point there hadn't been any hint of backstabbing and Lando had even put the smoothest of moves on Leia in order to get under Han's skin. And it's made all the worse that Lando had plenty of time to warn his friends but chose to feed them instead to burn. Bacon Man in order to keep his job. Number 2. Cypher – The Matrix Now, I'm just going to say, with hindsight, it's actually quite clear that Cypher was going to betray his friends. I mean, after all, who would trust a slaphead like that with such an evil set of facial hair? However, when you first watch the original Matrix, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this smarmy tech man is just on the level, if a little dissatisfied with eating what appears to be cottage cheese floating in rice pudding. And to be honest, I think we'd all be a bit miffed at that. Yet, as the film wears on and we see him munching down on a thick bit of red meat not seen since your mother had a cheeky chomp on my little meat devil, we become aware of how far he's willing to go to stay within the lie. Also, if you look at the code hard enough, you'll see that that was indeed my one per list. The way he goes about his betrayal is brutal as well, preferring not to fight his former crew and instead unplugging them right there and then. Truly, this is a man who belongs to the machines, as he is indeed without any humanity. And number one, Dudley Smith, LA Confidential. Curtis Hansen's neo-noir adaptation of the 1990 novel of the same name was a gritty tale of deceit, pride and integrity, and is certainly one of the decade's best whodunits. Three police officers, one sordid, one ruthless and one orthodox, set out to solve a series of crimes and murders against the backdrop of a 1950s LA that is riddled with vice and corruption. As the officers dig deep, it's suddenly revealed that the man behind everything is their own Captain Dudley Smith. His betrayal isn't just to the police department and the men who were loyally serving under him, though, as Captain Smith was also forced to kill one of the three investigating officers in order to cover his tracks. It doesn't even occur to you that it might be Smith until he begins shooting his men. The very immediate transition that occurs effectively takes the film's most morally balanced character and reveals that he's actually one of the most reprehensible. And it is a bloody powerful moment. 
And there we go. Those are the 10 most shocking betrayals in movie history. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. But you know one thing that you should never betray? It is yourself. You owe it to yourself to be the best you possibly can, both physically and mentally. Treat yourself well. And if you're struggling with stuff, do not worry, my friend. We all struggle with stuff in our lives, but just make sure that you're trying to speak to people about it. Friends, family, professionals. There are so many people out there and so many networks that you can approach if you are feeling overwhelmed. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. You've been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.